All right, you have a little less than six hours to help groups doing great work in our community. A lot of groups. The donation deadline for Roanoke Valley Gives is midnight. So far, more than $622,000 has been raised. 10 News reporter Patricia Martellotti spoke with a family benefiting from your generosity. A parade of police officers ride in on their motorcycles at the Ronald McDonald House. The officers from several agencies, uh, Martinsville City Police Department, Franklin County Sheriff's Office, Martinsville Sheriff's Office, came to support the home away from home for families of critically ill children. This speaks volumes of how these officers care about our community and they care about our children that are in this community. Children like Elizabeth Helms, who was born premature. Her mother, Kristen, came to show her support. It means the world to us. Um, everyone that worked here was so supportive and so kind and so nice. Um, it would do anything and everything that you asked that we needed. Every year, hundreds of families who live out of town turn to the Ronald McDonald House for help. For an operating budget that's over $500,000 a year, we really depend on our community's support. Was it the warmest thing to leave Martinsville this morning and come here, but it means that much to me to support the Ronald McDonald House. Helms says the Ronald McDonald House changed her life forever. Without the house, you know, I just, I, and without the support of this community, um, you know, I don't know that she would be here today. The Ronald McDonald House hopes to raise $10,000 by the end of the day. In Roanoke, Patricia Martellotti, 10 News, working for you.